And Garchinian comes in with the head. And Pacheco has a cut. Pacheco has a cut right in the middle of his forehead. Watch your head. You're coming in with your head. I knew that was going to happen because Garchinian kind of leaps in there with that head. Doesn't really look at his target. And the determined champion may be a little bit more determined seeing that red blowing down his face. Step back, Nick. Step back. That's it. Yeah, he wipes the uh, cut. It's in a position where it shouldn't impede the vision. And right now it's not impeding his performance. Very good right jab by the uh, champion. Stalking his opponent. Referee Jorge Alonso warning Garchinian about that head. Swing and a miss by Garchinian. You can see the frustration on Garchinian's face, Kevin. Yeah, well, right now he, he realizes that he's starting to be broke down. He's going backwards. His plan is starting to unravel. Um, he's getting hit with all the big punches. And Pacheco is a knockout puncher, so he knows that it's a matter of time the way it's starting to look now unless he catches Pacheco and with a good shot to make him step backwards. 22 knockouts for Pacheco. Of his six successful defenses, he stopped four of his opponents. Ten seconds to go in a good round for Pacheco. However, he did suffer a cut from a headbutt. Hollywood, Florida, Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino were outdoors under the lights. And a look at the challenger, Big Garchinian. What did you tell me? You won bad? You won bad? You tell me? Come on, show me! Put your hand and talk to him. Punch, don't talk! Former champion Jeff Finnick imploring his fighter. We'll take a look at what caused this cut. Hey, we'll take a little slow flow. You see both men, oh, crash right there in the middle of the head. Both men throwing punches. This happens a lot with South Boys. And we got two of them in our main event here. And Garchinian is very unorthodox, and he lunches in there. He doesn't look. He comes in okay. with his head. Well, they want to put a glove on his head. Put a glove on his head. This way, he had three gloves instead of two gloves. Back it up, Back it up. Back it up. Round number six. Scheduled for 12. The IBF champion doing a little holding and hitting there. He has a cut to deal with. Pacheco does, caused by a headbutt. We're after four rounds, though. Pacheco trying to break down his opponent. Darchinian appeared to slow down in the last round and tire out a little bit. He doesn't seem to have the answers for Pacheco thus far. Well, Pacheco also has the reach advantage, and that has to make it difficult for Darchinian to get on the inside. fight was called or stopped, they'd go to the scorecards. Right now on my scorecard, I have Pacheco winning the fight by four or five points. I haven't won it by exactly five points. I have it 50-45 unofficially, of course. Pacheco started to initiate the action, trying to take the fight to uh, Garchinian, and Garchinian is fading fast. Yeah, he is, and you can just see that Pacheco's trying to set up a powerful straight left hand, land some to the body. I'm surprised Pacheco hasn't come underneath, because the way Darchinian leans forward, he would really be open for like an uppercut. All the heads almost come together again. You can see the way Darchinian comes in, that it's a recipe for disaster with the heads. He sort of lunges himself in there. Well, I'm surprised Pacheco hasn't thrown another. Uh, right hook to the body, right hook to the head combination because it seems like Garchinian is right there for that. There they go right there. He just threw the right hook to the head, but he got thrown into the body first. You know, it's interesting. He actually told us that uh, he was working on his uppercut, and there it, is. <laughs> there it is. And that's a shot that I think if he can get inside will really work well. 
Yeah, but that's a punch you don't throw from the outside. He acts, you can ask uh, Buster Douglas about that. You don't throw uppercuts from the outside. Uppercuts are an inside punch that you throw on the inside. Or when your opponent is very tired, Douglas did it successfully against Tyson in their fight, and then uh, was a disaster against Evander Holyfield when he was knocked out after missing an uppercut. Right now it's the champion, Pacheco. But Chinna's mouth is wide open. He's tired from fighting very stiff, throwing big shots. And now that's the, the time that Pacheco can actually land big shots and put his man away. And you can see the fatigue on the face. Look at the mouth of Darchinian. Champion, hands held high. Good defense. Accurate. And winning another round. Pacheco, not that he needed any growth in confidence, seems to be getting more confident as this fight goes on, starting to break his opponent down. Breathe! You make this all win punch more than you? What do you tell me you're gonna do? Do it! Oh, talk! You wanna tell me what you can do? Do it! You tell me, you tell me, show me! I told you, talk to me every day! Show me if you can do it! Nick, you're the warrior, brother. You're the hot warrior. This old Our man, you let him punch more than you? Taking a verbal beating from you want to Jeff Finnick, the former champion from Australia. Please don't go back in. Be strong, strong me. come on! Back yourself. Breathe, 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 breathe. Yeah. You kill him. Billy. Yeah, the corner of Victor Chinyan just imploring him to try to start being more aggressive in this fight and pick up the pace, but I don't think he has it in him to do that against this experienced champion from Colombia, Irene Pacheco, making his seventh defense of his title he won in 1999. Oh, there was a nice shot. Right hook by Darchinian, but didn't seem to have much effect on Pacheco. But there's only one shot. He's got to come back to the straight left hand after that right hook. That was a nice shot. Now he's starting to really put something, you know, Pacheco's starting to set down on his shots. He is really starting to try to go for the knockout. Turned over a, a big left and a, a right hook. I mentioned at 33 years of age, in the, in the lighter division, like the flyweight division, most guys don't uh, hang around much after that. They're usually spent by the time they're 33 years of age, to be honest with you. you know, but and that comes from trying to make the weight. You know, as you get older, you gain weight. You try to stay 112 pounds is not a good thing all the time because, you know, by now you figure that a check will probably be fighting 122. Yeah, and he's very tall for that weight, too, isn't he? Action slowing down a little bit in the seventh round. See Darchinian trying to pick up the pace a little bit, trying to throw combinations. But the problem with him, he throws everything he has in the shot. He can't come back with nothing because he throws everything he has. And then he's fatigued and tired after he throws his combination. Yeah, and he's not set up as a combination puncher because you're right. He throws so hard when he misses, sometimes he's out of position to throw anything. And you can see the fatigue on his face. Look at the mouth of Darchinian. And he's off balance when he throws his shots, and that's why Pacheco is able to capitalize. Yeah. Alonso, referee Jorge Alonso warning Pacheco about something, I think the low blow. Pacheco with that long right jab. Pacheco looks very tired, very tired. See the uh, champion slowing down a little bit though in this round. They've done a good job on that cut in between the eyes of Pacheco. It's a much better round for Darchini and he's landed some good shots this round. Uh, enough to win the round. That's up to the judges, but on the my scorecard, a very close round. He is having a better round. He's sort of fighting through his fatigue as we come to 10 seconds to go. Better round for Darchinian. Now the animated corner of Vic Darchinian. Getting the Aussie instruction from 
Jeff Finnick. Garchinian, we felt.